Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. Look right here. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to do some base reviews. I haven't done one of these in like a week or so. Um, my cat's in the background just straight lounging on the chair. Um, but we're going to do some base reviews for you guys. So I'm going to zoom down here into the corner. And as you can see, they are Town Hall 9 bases. We've got four of them that we're going to be going through. This first one is Death Puncher. Uh, he is level 83. Um, at 1422 trophies, it is a farming base. Um, so obviously, first off, you can tell that a lot of stuff needs to be upgraded. You definitely rushed to Town Hall 9. Um, but this, this series isn't all just about, hey, upgrade stuff. Because everybody knows you should upgrade stuff. Um, I talk about layout um, and things like that. So uh, let me go ahead and get my little pin thing here. My little brush and we'll go ahead and start talking about some stuff so um, first off as I always say mortar is triangulated it's a very good job of that that's perfect um, your air defenses do a really good job of covering the base as well um, so that's great I am a little bit curious as to what these open spots are right here uh, because I'm all about symmetry in my bases and over here you've got two things and right here you don't so um, Honestly, I would just scoot that over and bring in like one of your uh, one of your storages, one of your elixir storages, or not storages, one of your elixir collectors, um, or something like that. I would just bring that in there and, and put that next to that, just so you don't have that open area. And that way, that saves a little bit more percentage for you as well when it comes to um, trophies. But obviously, since you're farming, you don't really care. So in the middle, you have your clan castle. Perfect. That's exactly what you need. You have your dark elixir, which looks very full. Yes, it is very full at 34,000, so I would definitely <coughs> be protecting that uh, as well. You have all these air bombs and uh, and other bombs right down here with all these Teslas. I'm not sure exactly where you get attacked from the most. Obviously, you would know I wouldn't, um, but it seems like that's pretty heavy when it comes to using all the Teslas in that one area. Um, cause somebody could attack from the top and not even get touched by any of the Teslas or any of these bombs. Uh, they could just come in from up here and work their way down or even come in from one of the sides right here. But that's fine. If you think that that's working for you, then that's okay. Um, your wizards again are in, um, almost a square, which is perfect. That's exactly how you need those to be. Um, and you have done a good job of spreading out the rest of your, um, of your defenses. This double wall up here is interesting. Um, it does definitely help protect your air defenses a little bit more because those are kind of exposed, um, especially the hog riders or anything like that. I imagine you have these here for hog riders, um, and if you do, that's good, uh, but generally you can only take out hog riders with two uh, giant bombs right next to each other. So uh, if that is your goal, then I might consider. Uh, I, I don't really know what to, you, you wouldn't be able to put anywhere on your base two bombs next to each other. You kind of have to design solely based off of that. Um, but if you do, if, if those do work effectively against the hog riders, then people are going to have to prematurely use their heal spells, so that's always good as well. Um, but for the most part, I think this base uh, is pretty good. Uh, this little area down here is a little heavy and, and odd with the two archers and the cannon. Um... I would almost like to see, uh, I don't know, I, I, I feel like there there needs to be a point defense somewhere up in here, um, like your cannon, like I would almost take this cannon right here and move that up there, uh, maybe just because then you'll, you have this whole area covered by cannon and then this area covered by archer, uh, might make it a little bit easier. Um, when it comes to defense, but that's up to you. You can take a look at it and see if you like that. But for the most part, I like the layout. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the majority of your things are how I would lay them out according to its design. So the triangle, the squares, and um, the other square. So good job with that. That looks good. Uh, Death Puncher, obviously keep on upgrading. I see you're upgrading a mortar, which is perfect. Um, next, I would go for... I'd finish up your mortars. Um, and then I would do wizard towers because they are sick. So that's going to be it for a death puncher. Let's move on to the next one. We have the son of Odin. That's right, the son of Odin. Level 64. So obviously very, very rushed. 
um, in order to be level 64. You can see the wizard towers, especially this one and this one, are very, very low. But again, this is to talk about the layout <clears throat> and the base design of the whole thing. Um, I'm not much of a fan of hybrid bases uh, just because they... I don't know. I, I just don't know how effective they are because somebody could attack really, really heavily right down here um, and just take out your town hall. and uh, Or they could just attack from the top and get 50% from up there um, if they are trophy pushing. But <laughs> you're in silver too, so uh, nobody's probably trophy pushing down there at all. Um, so obviously this is more of a farming base. You do have your uh, Dark Elixir in the center. Um, I would, however, take this. Your clan castle always needs to be more centralized because right now your clan castle goes like probably like that. I know I just went off the screen. So somebody could literally deploy up in the top corner and all your clan castle troops will be gone. So if you're in, a, if you're in an active clan, you definitely need to move that. Um, I would almost consider putting it where the Barbarian King is maybe. Uh, I still wish that that could be up a little bit higher. Um, it sucks that all this space is being used like this in here. Um, I know the Dark Elixir is important to you, but with only 7,000 of it, somebody isn't going to be able to steal that much from you. Um, so, I would almost move your clan castle in. But again, if you're not in an active clan, don't worry about it. That's fine. Um, it is good to see that your, uh, that your air defenses are in a square and that your mortars are in a square or in a triangle as well. Um, and for anybody who's not being reviewed, listen to the things I'm saying and you can apply them to your base uh, when it comes to, obviously, global coverage of your base. So the air defense is like that, and then the wizard tower is like that, and then the triangle in the middle. It doesn't have to be square, square, triangle, but you do have to try and get as much uh, coverage as you can of the base um, with your splash damage um, and your air defenses, obviously. Uh, your wizards are a little bit exposed out here. Um, they could get taken out with a giant and like five archers. So you have to be careful of that. I might consider moving them in um, and replacing them with, I don't know, move, moving, moving these elixir storages out or something because the your wizards need to be more protected than they are right now. Um, they just aren't protected too well. So I would almost scoot those in, um, but then they're going to be too close in this area and you need them to be spread out along the side. And I would just say when it comes to wizards and mortars, be very, very careful putting them in the first uh, wall because they're going to get taken out pretty easily and that's one of your best uh, one of your best defenses because of the splash. Um, overall, the layouts, is, I mean, it's symmetrical. It's cool. Um, I probably wouldn't use this base. It seems like there's a lot of wasted space in the middle. And the wizards are super exposed, but for level 64, um, you're doing okay when it comes to trying to figure out uh, how to design. And guys, it's fun to design bases. I love designing bases. Try it out. See how they work, all that kind of stuff. Just keep your fundamentals the same when it comes to air defenses, wizards, and um, mortars, and your clan castle being centralized. Oh, gosh. Huh. All right, so that's it for Son of Odin. Um, keep working on it, man. Keep upgrading, and you'll get there. <laughs> Let's move on to Soccer Derper. Uh, 111, Town on 9, farming base. Super, super upgraded, super maxed out. Um, that's weird. You're, you have 270,000. You have 270,000 elixir, but these storages are crazy full. This probably isn't... Whoever sent this in, this isn't their base. They're probably looking at somebody. Um, but anyways, here's what I have to say about this base. So I do like the bases that have the segments along the outside. Like all of these are different segments. And then inside, troops can get in here, but they generally attack all this stuff first. Uh, so you... I don't know. I've seen a lot more of these lately. I really like them. I think that they work well. The only thing that I would do about this one is I feel like if somebody drops down a couple giants to distract down here and then drops a whole bunch of goblins, they're just going to run right in here. Um, they're going to get this. Some of them will split off here, and then the majority of them will come in here and go after all this. Uh, so what I would do 
because somebody can take out this wizard tower very easily. I would switch. I would put this wizard tower right in here, um, and I would switch out that uh, elixir pump and put it right in there where the where the tower was. Um, and then again, do it right here, and then right here, and then right here. Just because you want them, these wizard towers will be able to still reach the wall. So the wizard tower. The wizard tower is right here. Let's get a new layer so we can draw on it. The wizard tower is right here. It'll be able to reach a good bit of this area. Um, I know that's not a perfect circle. Uh, but it'll be able to reach a good bit of that area. And once the goblins uh, run up in there, they'll be able to take them out. Um, you do have your cannons. You have your archers. I might move your archer tower over and then put the thing right here. Something like that. But... I would just consider moving the wizards in to help protect the resources a little bit better um, because there is a lot of resources in there and <clears throat> if these guys are distracted uh, by giants or golems down here and somebody just runs in with goblins they're just gonna crush it um, so the wizards definitely need to be in there when they can't be distracted because if the wizards are in there and there's golems and stuff out here they're gonna turn on the the goblins for sure um, otherwise, I like the layout he does. He has his clan castle in the middle. He's got his mortars triangulated like that. He's got his air defenses covering his whole base, which is really, really good. Um, everything's upgraded really well. All of his archer towers are maxed. His cannons are maxed. His wizard's maxed. Uh, it looks pretty much like everything is maxed. Obviously, he still has a lot to do with his walls. Um, stuff like that. His air defenses are. So, uh, Sakura Derper is crushing it uh, right now. Um, so, yeah, guys, speaking of crushing it, if you haven't yet, go check out my t-shirt shop. Um, I designed some pretty sweet things that say crushing it on it. We got Keep Calm and Clash On versions. Uh, go check them out. I'm going to be ordering uh, a shirt pretty soon, too. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited about it. But back to this Soccer Derper. Uh, the base looks good. Uh, only thing I would suggest changing is maybe the Wizard Towers uh, to help protect a little bit more on the inside. But other than that, I'd say you're looking pretty good. Last but not least is Jero. <laughs> uh, level 66, farming base, Town Hall 9. Look at this wizard tower right here. <laughs> nice. So you definitely rushed. Uh, obviously, you know that you rushed. I mean, look at this. That archer tower up there. Um, probably some super low level cannons in here too. Um, all the... All I can say at this point is that, like, you just have to try and upgrade stuff. But you shouldn't rush. Guys, please don't rush. I know it's cool because you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to get Expos, and they're going to help protect my base. No, that's not true. If you have max level defenses as a Town Hall 7, like, I bet you there there are definitely some Town Hall 7s or Town Hall 8s um, that can defend so much better than this base can. Um, maybe not Town Hall 7s, but still. All I'm saying is that you guys don't want to rush, I promise you, because loot gets so much harder to get once you get up higher because uh, of the loot penalties. So uh, You're already there, though, so you can't really do anything about that. I would say upgrade your wizards first, your wizard towers first, um, then your mortars. And you do have... The layout of this isn't too bad. You've got your wizard towers right here. You've got your air defenses in a square around the base as well. Goodness, man. This one right here is level 1. You must have just hit Town Hall 9 or something. Um, please don't go up to Town Hall 10. <laughs> uh, so, you've got a lot of upgrading to do. The layout of it, though, doesn't look too bad with the mortars. Um, this mortar is a little bit weird right here. Um, this one right up here because it's not absolutely centralized. I would almost want to put that right here um, just to help cover the base a little bit more. Woo! Yawning again. Um, so, try that out, and then ultimately, I know earlier I said that it's not all about upgrading, but you gotta upgrade stuff, man. You got to upgrade your wizard towers and um, and all that kind of jazz. So, definitely make sure that you do that, and um, <laughs> you you should be good to go in a couple of months as you get up to where you should be. Because uh, it's going to take you a long time to even get max Town Hall 8 defenses. Because right now you're not even there. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If y'all want a chance to be featured, uh, I get like 600 emails 
uh, when it comes to this. So you just got to try and be lucky, but send it to um, base reviews with molt at gmail.com. That's right, base reviews with molt at gmail.com, and I'll do my best to uh, get to you and review your base. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Again, check out that t-shirt shop. Leave a like down below if you did. I would really appreciate it. And as always, guys, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.